Another classic arcade game. Do you know there are virtually no YouTube videos on Gorilla War? None. And I found out why. There's like none of them left. It's, it, the copyright says 87, but this didn't actually come out till 88. SNK, it's, people think this is one of the more terrific rotary joystick games of all. Time Soldiers used this. Akari Warriors was the predecessor of this. Some great games. There was Victory Road, Frank. The nice thing about this game and this system is that you can plug in another JAMA game like Time Soldiers, and it'll all match up to the same joysticks and controls. You can have a bunch of those rotary games if you like it. Some people don't like the rotary for this game, but it's what makes the game unique. What was, a uh, quick question, what was the first game to use a rotary joystick? Oh, yes, they're right, yeah, I heard that, yes, uh-huh, okay. Time Soldiers, not, not, no, it wasn't Time Soldiers, no. Frontline, thank goodness, somebody finally said Frontline, yes. But it was a big knob. Black knob. Speaking of big knobs. Frank, children are watching. Okay. Customer ordered the Gorilla Wars. Here's what happened. We had a kit. This was, by the way, this was mostly sold as a kit. It was in an old Donkey Kong cabinet. I saw it with my own eyes. It didn't work. But we put it on our list. And he called and he says, I'd like to get it. When we went to get it, out of the warehouse. We have hundreds of games next door. We discovered that the Guerrilla Wars was gone. In fact, it was taken for the cabinet. They needed a Donkey Kong cabinet. I think Richie Knuckles got it. So we didn't have it anymore. But, surprise, I was able to make a deal and I got a dedicated Guerrilla Wars. We actually thought we were getting a kit. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. On top of it, it's got beautiful side art. Steven did some touch-ups. You can't tell unless you touch them. I'm using all my fingers, Frank. So we're in a second unless ago. Touch them. I was. I was using. Look, I was doing this. And down here, he's done a little touch-up. Beautiful work. We use a paintbrush too. That does the best. Work. Or a spatula, whatever's handy. Of course. <laughs> we have green tea molding on this. For the color blind color. Frank, you can't keep reusing that stupid joke. People don't laugh. I'm laughing. That's all I care about. People, well, they want fresh new humor. They don't want the then same. Then they'll tune out of this show then. They want the same, they don't want the same stuff. Now, Wells Garner 7000. We put a brand new flyback in every 7000 we sell. We now do it because, you know, if you don't, in like two years, the flyback will go because of the age. Brand new one, new capacitors, and you just have to be so careful you don't touch. Ah! Was that the same stupid joke? This whole video is the same stupid joke. <laughs> oh, Frank. We're running out of material. We need writers. <laughs> Anyway, somebody actually came over today looking at games in the showroom. They said, there's nothing in the bottom of the cabinet. I said, yeah, I know. I said, you got your, your line transformer, of course, for the monitor, the isolation transformer. You got your power supply. You got your filter, your main fuse, the logic board, the JAMA harness. These two connectors are to the rotary joysticks, okay? And you got your television set. And that's it. Can we get HBO on there? HBO. This guy is going to be so happy because the original control panel overlay is also beautiful. This was obviously, Frank, in a place that didn't allow smoking because usually the people put their cigarettes there and it burns everything up. Here I'm off, Frank. Look, I'm killing everybody. Now, the beautiful thing about this game is that it truly, stuff can attack you from 360 degrees. Unbelievable amount of stuff. You have to save your... I, I just killed them. <laughs> I killed them. Frank, this is the first time I've ever played Gorilla Wars. Does it, does it look good? Yep. Every game you play 
that looks like it's your first one. But just like all these great games, you have the ability for the second person to join the game at any time. You think that's how I die in real life, Frank? You see how for a moment you're invisible? See how you can see through the guy? You've got a grace period where they can't kill you. Like that. I guess we should play this side. Wait a minute. I didn't try this side yet. I have to wait. We need a second credit. Oh. Yep, you gotta play two. Yep, you can't. You, you can have to play one player on one side and two on the other. That's what it is, Frank. Now look, I want you to watch again so you can see. See how they're invisible? They're invisible now because they can't be hurt until they turn in red. So you can't start on the right side. You have to play the left side if you're one player and the right side can join in. Isn't that great? I figured that out, Frank. I'm like pretty clever, huh? Genius. Now I saved them. Look, I saved them, Frank, this time. I didn't kill them. Uh-oh, I just, he died. Pretty nice game, huh? Great soundtrack, too. And there's two speakers here. So it gives you a really nice track. Good. I think, oh, well, I guess we covered everything, Frank. Um, can you think of anything else? Well, look. You're looking for a game? It's not on our inventory list. You can shoot us an email. Don't ask for something that's really obscure. Well, you probably have five of them next door. I mean, you <laughs> forgot a better than there. True. Actually, the smartest thing to do is to go on our website, okay, and look on our inventory. We, we change it weekly. As we sell games, we remove them, and then we add new stuff as the stuff comes in. We put, I think, ten new video games up this week alone. So uh, We still have a lot of stuff going out. We've got another Tetris going out. Altered Beast just came in for an overhaul. This is going to get uh, new side art and stuff. And look! The Defender, we've got the sides all prepped. We have brand new side art going on the front and on the sides. And of course, we'll add the T molding to this thing. It's gonna look like new, Frank. And look, Hard Body just came in. Uh, who plays it or who done it? And an Incredible Hulk came in for a possible overhaul. And Frank, we're still waiting for that Killer Instinct Part One board. But see that? This poor guy's been waiting. Look what came in. Finally came in. As a matter of fact, we're in the process of putting on the control panel. Wallace left for the weekend. This is the new protection plate. You really can't see. Oh, you're here now. There you are. Double Dragon control panel overlay. It is here. At last. This poor man has waited for Double Dragon. We finally got the art. So that's gonna be finished up this weekend. We have cabinet art. So we're actually gonna do a video uh, showing you putting on the cabinet art on that. Afterburner, almost done. House of the Dead almost done. Frank, you can't move in here. You can't move in here. This is going out Tuesday though, so. Actually, if all goes well, that Gorilla War and Ghosts and Goblins will be out here. And Ice Cold Beer is going shipped to Canada. They'll be all out here. And we'll have room to clog up the place with more. And look, finally, Frank, we have the Adams Family here. Another one. Very popular. Very popular game. He took everything off the play field, as you see over here. And he scrubbed it right down to the bottom. And very soon we're going to have everything back on. The Adams Family. Good. Frank, I think it's time that you and I can pack up and go for the Labor Day weekend. We are going to have a really good time this weekend, but we will be back next week. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Now buzz off!